Hi, I'm Amanda Mertz at DigiStamp Today, and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing video for my um, pre-pre-order that demonstrators who attended the OnStage event in Houston, Texas a few weeks ago were able to order um, some products extra early. So I'm going to do a little unboxing video to show you what all I ordered. It's not a ton, but it's um, fun to see some things before they come out in the catalog. So um, why don't you join me? I'm going to flip the camera around and um, pop this box open. I'll show you my box. See, it's still sealed. I was saving it for you guys. So um, just give me a second to flip the camera and we'll get started. I did try to do this live on Facebook last night. Today is Thursday the 28th. I tried to do it last night, Wednesday. I even posted it and then joined me, blah, blah, blah. And Facebook was not playing nice and did not let me start a live. I don't know what was going on. They kept saying that my um, account was too new. Whatever that means. I've had that uh, business page for years, so I don't know. Hopefully it's not a permanent thing. Let me zoom out a little bit here so you can see more of it. Before I actually even open it, I'm going to show the five new in colors. These were shipped separately, so they did not come in this box. For some reason, they did not get included in my main order, but... Um, here they are. So this one still has a plastic on it, but it's called Summer Splash. It's a pretty, it's um, similar to Coastal Cabana, a little bit different. I'll have to do a comparison video one of these days with colors that are close, but not, not close. Um, this one is pretty in pink, a nice classic pink. This one is called Peach Pie, and I know the colors on the computer are not always the best. And then this one is Petunia Pop, kind of a a plummy pinky purple and then shy shamrock which is a nice green at least i think it will be so these are the five new ink colors coming and we'll have these available for two years um so um you know you'll have some time to at least at my classes my customers will get to see them and use them up close and then decide which ones really fill a need in their color collection it might be all five it might be one or two or three or four and leave one out some of them if you've been stamping a long time are similar to colors we've had in the past but they're always just different enough that of course i want to have um all the choices so i'm going to set those aside and i'm actually going to move the box behind me and then just pull things out individually so I can show it all against the white background. Okay, this is the Petunia Pop um, Bordered Ribbon. And I'm gonna pop open the plastic so you guys get to see it all and the texture and if I can get it without cutting something that shouldn't be cut. There we go. Sometimes it's hard to get that little bit of plastic off. Okay. Oh, this is nice. It's not too thick. It almost looked, it looked a little thick at first when I saw it on the roll, but it, it should, it should tie nicely for some nice bows. And of course, um, it's got the little bit of a stitching detail on the side. I guess that's the border. Um, but that is pretty. So that's, um, in the Petunia pop color. So let's see, I can zoom zoom in a little bit more here so you can see it down and it is let's see it's about three eighths of an inch wide so it's not super wide but um it's it's a nice weight I think that'll be good for cards and I think that's the only ribbon that I got just because I was trying to keep I was trying to keep it with the cost down a little bit um so I just wanted to see I'll get the rest of them just so I have them all um of course before before um our demonstrator pre-order that's in a couple days so i'll get all of them then okay so these are um in color shimmer gems so again we've got all five of the colors there we go without glare so you've got petunia pop pretty in pink summer splash shy shamrock and peach pie so these are um they're faceted let's see can i try to do it up close without there you go, you can see the sparkle a little bit. So they do have a little bit of a sparkle, which is nice from the faceted aspect of it. So that's those. Let's see, maybe, maybe I'll do all the in color stuff so we can 
can see all that up front. All right, so let's keep going with the in color products. Of course, I got full packages of the Shy Shamrock and the Summer Splash. Pretty in Pink and Petunia Pop and the Peach Pie. So there we go. We've got those five. All right. And now something a little more interesting than just plain cardstock, but this is also in the in colors. This is the in color designer series paper. So look at these. These are new patterns. It's nice to see some newer patterns on these in color panels. So let's just kind of go through. So we've got, oops, get that peach pie out of here. We're working with pretty and pink people. So we've got a pretty like leafy design. And then I don't even know what kind of design you'd call that, but um, two nice patterns. And then the opposite side, some nice Southern, Southern subtle stripes, and then some um, circles. You can see that up close. And then of course you're going to have, let's see, um, I should have counted before I set them down. You get four, four sheets of each pattern, you know, the double sided. So you'll have four and then four, and then the same goes with the other colors. So you've got the two patterns in the peach pie. Summer Shamrock. Oh, it's really pretty in the green. It's very tropical. The Shy Shamrock, the leafy pattern. So it's not a lot of different patterns. It's only four, but you get you get a little bit of everything. You get something that's a, a bigger print and then some smaller ones. And I mean, I always think stripes and circles are classic. So you can work those into a lot of different designs without having to have a specific pattern in mind. And then this is the summer splash color. So actually, I want to see, let me get out. I'm just curious because when I saw this one first in Houston, I definitely thought it looked a lot like Coastal Cabana. So I'm going to pull out a piece of Coastal Cabana and just do a little comparison here. So it is very close. I feel that the Summer Splash is maybe a little bit more green. Um, here's the cardstock. I mean, it's still in the plastic, but it is a, it is slightly different. So, you know, being that we like all the choices and lots of choices, um, honestly, I think both could work for if you're trying to color match something, um, but they're definitely different. They're close, but not exactly the same. So if you're worried about it being too close, it's definitely a little bit different. So they're not just um, <laughs> throwing out the same color and calling it something different. All right, so let me slide all these out of the way and move these aside and then we'll see what else is in my box of goodies. Ooh -wee. All right, here we go. The dotted circles 3D embossing folder. Look at how big this is. This is a like an A2 card front size, and it is nearly the same size. So we've got to take this one out and see. I think I briefly saw somebody else's video where they mentioned it, but I did not like pay that much attention because I wanted to be surprised with my own stuff. Like obviously I knew what I ordered, but really did not get any details. Look at that. It's so big. Hold it down there so you get the full effect. It's huge. It is six by eight and a half. So yes, you can definitely do a full, like a whole card front, almost a whole card front. It's a little bit short. The pattern doesn't quite go all the way to the top, but I mean, you could go, I mean, you could do that. And it would just be a natural break in the pattern. Oops, my piece of paper slide now. So look at that. That's pretty cool. I'm excited. I'm going to have to get the other ones. I, I held back from getting every single thing I could possibly order. So I just got a little bit of a sampling, but, um, that's pretty neat to be able to do a bigger piece. And this is great for, um, scrapbookers too, who have, you know, larger areas to 
fill and if they you know want to use a whole panel like that's a whole panel you know you could use on a 12 by 12 so 12 by 12 is you know up here so you could get a, a really nice size panel embossed for some of your layouts but that so again that's the dotted circle 3d embossing folder so i always say it's so exciting that's so fun over and over and over again all right here we go here's something else that i'm intrigued by all right we have a new color of neutral basic a basic color so this is called basic beige and we've got an ink pad and i think i'm going to open it up let's do a quick comparison with our very vanilla so it's definitely not it is definitely not crumb cake so if you're thinking it was a crumb cake I'll show one of those piece of crumb cake and we can compare all right basic beige crumb cake and very vanilla all right see it's definitely not as bright as very vanilla but it's not as brown as the crumb cake so you know what let's see if we can ink it up and Let's find a stamp that we can use that would show it well. Let's see. Let's see. I know. Let's do this one. We'll do a flower pot. How's that? With a little bit of a little bit of pattern on it. We'll do this little flower pot from the Planted Paradise stamp set. All right. Let's see. I'll do it on a piece of vanilla. vanilla Oop. didn't ink it up super well and then let's see a piece of let's see here I've got a random circle already cut in basic white let's get a little bit of a green tinge to it but that it is a nice neutral so if like a gray is too gray but very vanilla is just a little too bright um it is a nice alternative uh it's probably similar to i don't know river rock or let me see let's see let's look at some retired cardstock and see if it's close because if you have a couple sheets of the old cardstock but you don't have ink that matches okay similar to Sahara sand but not it's a little lighter than Sahara sand so that's that's Sahara sand and that's that one so um, basic beige all right well that's good to see that up close and get to ink it up and see it's always good to have more colors I think um, you never know when you're working on a project that one color just um, doesn't work but having a shade slightly different well so basic beige all right now for some maybe a little bit more fun stuff let's see Ta -ta, let's see okay, here we go. all right here we go the country birdhouse stamp set it's a bundle there's dyes look at how cute that birdhouse is and little flowers and stuff to decorate and sweet little sweet little bird I'm trying to get the light out so you don't there we go you can see all the images and it's photopolymer so it's a nice size set well i like i like ones where there's like focal but then there's also some smaller accent pieces because since i like to decorate my envelopes no naked envelopes sometimes when you don't have a good little accent piece like a flower or a bird or even some speckles it's hard to decide how to decorate the envelope because Sometimes you don't want to have to do, like, that would be too big. A birdhouse would be way too big to put on the corner of the, the envelope. So, let's see. Let's open up these dies and see all the pieces. Let me get the plastic out. Here we go. All right, here we go. All right, so. So, we've got the birdhouse, cuts out the birdhouse, and then it's got extra little accent look you could do like little gingerbread victorian 
scalloped edges, straight edges, or you could layer them for different looks. Um, what's this one? Is it like a perch maybe? Doesn't cut out one of those. I'll have to look in the catalog. I can't show you the catalog pieces, um, the pages yet. So we'll just have to figure these out. But oh, a ribbon to hang it, a little tie, more flowers, the bird outline. Um, that cuts out some of the flower images. Those right there, you can see the glare again. So we've got outlines to cut out that one and that one. And then it looks like there's little flowers too. So you've got some little flower ones, some leaves. This one might be, I don't know what that is. It almost looks like a, like a trident, but I don't know. I'm sure somebody had probably already has samples made with this stamp set, but country house, country bird house, really cute. And I'm a big bird lover, so that will come in handy. We have our, our blue birds are nesting. So we've got five eggs they're sitting on and super exciting. So I'm excited to have a new bird set to use. All right. My next one is another bundle, the hearts and hugs bundle. Got to have some cutesy animals. Like, look at these cute little badgers and a little gerbil slash hamster. You can't see his tail. So, um, you can call it whatever you want. The walrus, little mice. We've got some cute, just basic sentiments. I could just hug you. Sending birthday hugs. So it's there when you need it. Sending a big hug. Oh, sending a big hug. So it's there when you need it. Thanks. Um, that's really cute. Those are good for all purpose cards, hello cards, um, kid cards. All right, here we go. The hearts and hugs dies. All right. So this one comes with some extras too. So we've got, so that one, that one, and that one are, and that one are the outlines to the four, four animal stamps. And this one is, um, red rubber too. So, um, you can plan ahead. I know some people love red rubber. Some people love photopolymer. Some people use both like I do, but, um, so you can plan your orders for that. And we've got some extra flowers, some hearts, some little flower stems that you can add the flower tops to a banner. And then this is a fun one, little hearts in an arc. So you can do the, you can get a lot of little hearts at once, or you can do the negative. You can cut it into the, um, a piece of cardstock and get rid of parts that cut out and then just leave the the negative space with little heart arc and so you could do the heart arc looks like he's if I can get it there we go it looks like he's kind of holding them in his hands little arc arc rainbow over heart rainbow over his head so this is a cute one and I know I'll use that one a lot and you can definitely get your color on with your blends or your watercolor um watercolor painters or even your colored pencils and a blender pen um, or you can just stand like you could emboss any of the outlines onto a colored car cardstock with white or black or even a metallic would look great so lots of choices for this one and, all right let's see what's next oh this paper I had I did not get anything else to go with this paper because I know I have lots of Lots of options, but this paper, it's called Thoughtful Journey, is very similar, very similar style to one that came out a couple years ago, and I'll have to look it up, but everybody just loved working with it. It's so pretty. It's got like the watercolor scenes, but they're very kind of loose, so you can kind of use it the way you want, um, but this is in the same style. So great for sympathy cards, thinking of you, um, you know, birthday cards for those nature lovers. So we've got a nice scene here and it's very watercolory. And then here's one that's on the other side. It, you know, it looks a little bit like a meadow or just like a scene, but very loose. You know, you can really do anything you want. You can do a big sentiment with the pattern in the background. You can just do some, um, naturey die cuts some flower outlines or tree outlines that one's pretty too they're all pretty. i'm going to say that for every pattern so just to warn you and that 
just a basic watercolor wash background. This one's got some other colors in it. I think we've got some of our peach. Actually, I can read you the colors that are in the, the set. We've got Blackberry Bliss, Boho Blue, Cajun Craze, Calypso Coral, Lost Lagoon, Misty Moonlight, Mossy Meadow, Peach Pie, Petunia Pop, Pool Party, Pretty Peacock, and Wild Wheat. Wow. So you've got lots of choices for card bases and um, accent colors. So that's, that's like two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. There's twelve colors represented in this pack of papers. So you should not have any problems finding something that matches. So on this side, another one that could be looking out towards water. Oops, that's not the right one. There we go. That could also be looking at the sky or water from down a hill. That's pretty. This could be a marsh or a pond scene. Okay, the colors are very pretty. And I see some of these, this looks like a fall card to me with the kind of the Cajun craze going on there in the middle. So that's that side with that other scene. Another meadow, lots of pretty blues and greens. Another watercolor wash, very abstract, nothing. I don't really see a scene there, but it would be good for background for, for lots of, lots of styles. Another one. And this one, this one looks a little icy. We don't want any more ice this time of year, right? We want sun and warmth. Purples, gotta love the purples. Was that Blackberry Bliss? Is that what I said? Yep, Blackberry Bliss. Another one. This this looks a little bit icy too. The trees along the, the edge of a water line. And then a blue. Another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. And I guess you could go that way too, but I think. It seems like it goes that way, but I honestly, there's no right or wrong. Some pretty flowers. And it's a nice mix of colors. I do like, I do like all these colors. They're, they're fresh without being like super bright. Ooh, that's pretty. That's got to be the pretty peacock, right? Very pretty. And some more. I would say that's a thistle watercolor thistle and then you've got some blackberry bliss so for those of you who like the really like the naturey and um, scenery cards this this paper is for you and it, they're different enough from that one that we had I think it was two years ago I'll have to look it up and um, and find it I know I only had scraps left by the end after doing a couple classes and using it quite a bit for my personal stamping so I think this one will be in heavy rotation as well. Hopefully it doesn't um, go on back order too quickly so people can get their hands on it. Um, maybe I'll have to do a class or you make a bunch of cards using this paper, like a stamp a stack or something. It's super pretty. So again, that's the Thoughtful Journeys Designer Series paper. All right, here we go. Here's, here's another embossing folder in a normal size. The regular size that we're used to. This one is called Eyelet 3D Embossing Folder. And it just it does have a nice little eyelet pattern. If you can see, I'll hold it up nice and close. And this one is the normal size. It's just regular, like an A, A2 card front size, just slightly larger than that. So you can get a whole card front piece panel em embossed. So that one's pretty. So let me just show you the, the size difference. Because that's cra it's crazy how big how big this new one is. So this is the dotted circles one, and then this one is the eyelet. So you can really see them next to each other, the size difference. But it's always good to have some texture, and I like that they're they're both look like they'll be versatile patterns to use. And I'm sorry to say this is the very last item I got, but don't worry. I will be ordering more stamp sets and die sets when the normal demonstrator pre-order opens, but I just had to space stuff out. Just, you know, 
funds and responsible business management and you know finances and all that so this one is called country woods designer series papers 12 by 12 and let's see the colors in it are basic beige basic gray crumb cake early espresso gray granite misty moonlight pecan pie petal pink pool party smoky slate and wild wheat all right so these are the nice like rustic wood painted wood look so it's kind of uh looks like you know the paint is kind of flaking off but it's a nice rich blue color let's see and the opposite is this boards lots of painted boards in the same style let's see, find some place to put these so they don't get bent and then just a, a wood darker wood panel it's always always good to have some wood designer series paper they just make a nice background and i'll probably end up using this quite a bit with the um the birdhouse stamp set so that's just some smaller you know, boards another wood grain pattern Oops, did i do the other side yeah the wood grain let's see what's on the other side of this one oops there. oh some aqua let's see what what would this one be is this pool party so that's going to be a pool party colored flaky paint panel on that side then again another wood i should have flipped them over and done the the colorful sides first it's just a wood oh, and this one is a little bit of the pink let's see Petal pink. So this is a little bit of a pinky orange, but the same idea real close. You can see the flakes. And then we've got the last one. Oh no, second to last one. Just more weathered wood. Oh, and a little bit with the wild wheat. You can see a little bit of the wild wheat yellow in there. And then this one looks a little bit like a pickled a pickled wash and then this side is uh probably i would say misty moonlight it's a little grayish grayish blue not super bright but these are good all-purpose again all-purpose patterns for the background of lots of cards or you can even use bigger pieces to show off to show off um, the, the paper itself of course you don't need to cover it all up but um We've got all that, and um, oh, I wanted to show one other, one other thing that I got. Actually, two other things that I received at the Houston event. Let's see where is there it is. Actually, I have a couple things. So we we got this as a giveaway. It's called the Leaf Collection, and it's a big background stamp. Um, so that will be fun to use. You could stamp all over. You can stamp certain ones in different colors and then fussy cut and layer them. Um, it's just, it's, it's a good all purpose background, I think. Um, and it's a little bit modern looking. It's not, it's not super frilly. There's not a lot of, you know, edge detail on the leaves. That one's pretty. So I'm looking forward to using that. And then we also got this new kit called the Hooray for Honeycomb kit. And I haven't opened it yet, but let's see if I can, there we go, tilt it. It's got these cool little, remember from like parties, the little tissue paper shapes that you add on to the card. So that's kind of a fun detail, um, but good for events throughout maybe the the spring and summer that require a little bit of a brighter color palette and you get everything you need in there and you just use whatever i don't think there's sentiments in here i guess you can stamp whatever sentiments you want or hand write them I, uh, like i said i haven't opened them up but little honeycomb pieces are super cute they open up look at that that's a fun detail on a card um so I'm looking forward to that. I don't know if anybody is interested in doing a class. Everybody could get the kit and we could put them all together and then you end up and then you have um, a whole set of cards to use. So let's see, I think it's, I wonder how many do you get here? 
gets three of each. So you end up with nine, nine of each, or three of each design for a total of nine cards. So that could be fun to do just to have a, a stash of cards ready to go when you don't have time to sit and stamp from scratch. You could have some already ready to go, pop them in the mail or to add to a birthday present. Um, so I've got that. And let's see what else. Oh, let's see. So another little perk of being a demonstrator, they handed out these fun color wheels with all the Stampin' Up! colors, even the new ones. See, we've got Pretty in Pink right there. Yeah. Let's see where else do we have. We've got Pretty in Pink. What are the new ones? And then Summer Splash, Shy Shamrock, and Peach Pie. But it gives you complementary colors, monochromatic, the triadic, you know, ones that are equal distance apart around the color wheel to really help with some color combination ideas and kind of see what shades would look good together when you're when you're trying to plan a project. Um, so that was a fun surprise to get that. It's super helpful. Gives you some color theory um, information on the back. So I'll have this out at classes so people could play around and maybe jot down some color combinations. This is not going to be for sale. Uh, maybe someday. Maybe if demonstrators asked enough or if customers ask enough, if this can be available at some point, we can um, maybe maybe get Stampin' Up! to put that in the, in the catalog for y'all. But... Um, perk of being a demonstrator. So if you've ever thought that you might have a good time doing it, you might get some fun freebies like this as well as some products at events and just have a good time um, creating and meeting people. So thank you all so much for joining my unboxing video of my pre-pre-order, um, demonstrator pre-order for the upcoming 2024 to 25 annual catalog with Stampin' Up! And let me show you the cover again. Um, for all my local customers and my out-of-town customers, I will be able to order catalogs um, next week. So I should have them by the end of the month. And my out-of-town customers, if you've ordered from me recently, you'll get one sent to you in the mail um, straight from Stampin' Up! So look for that. And um, as always, comment, let me know what you think, if you have any questions, and um, hope to see you all back at watching some of my videos again in the future. Thanks so much.